Good evening, I'm Hannah Bueller from 7 News and we're taking you through the 716 in two minutes. This week, the loved ones of several of the Jefferson 10 are saying their final goodbyes. On Tuesday, Celestine Cheney will be laid to rest. Pearl Young's funeral is scheduled for Wednesday. Margus Morrison's funeral will be held Friday and Ruth Whitfield's is on Saturday at noon. All of those will be open to the public. Buffalo Common Councilman Ulysses Wingo is now pushing to crack down on food stores that take items from giveaways along Jefferson Avenue and sell them for profit. Wingo says the city's Department of Permits and Inspections would regularly inspect food shops in the area surrounding the Jefferson Avenue tops and then suspend the license of any store caught selling donated goods. The New York State Department of Health will now start offering Pfizer booster shots to children ages 5 to 11 five months after they complete their second dose of the vaccine. Kids who are immunocompromised will be eligible for a booster three months after they are fully vaccinated. Now let's check in on that seven weather forecast with Autumn Lewandowski. Let's look at it. We're in the 50s this evening into the 40s for the overnight. A cool night and one that's going to deal with sunshine as we begin Tuesday. Now the only shot to have some sprinkles come in Tuesday is into the evening from 7 to about midnight and it's from a system that is going to stay to ourselves, but a little bit of moisture may come up during the evening tomorrow. Notice where we are for the first half of the day. More sunshine. Temperatures will be right near the 70 degree mark. It's that area of high pressure that will help us out, but that's going to come to an end. We'll see a warm front approaching western New York. Now this is happening from Wednesday into Thursday, and with that, it's going to bring some showers, not until Thursday, some isolated showers there with temperatures near 80 degrees. And then a cold front passes by. We'll deal with temperatures dropping into the 60s for the first half of the weekend.